Russia sends its soldiers to attack without armored vehicles. Putin's army faces severe shortage. Russia's military is conducting human wave assaults along the front lines near the village of Krynki as the war in Ukraine rages on, according to Natalia Humeniuk, spokesperson for Ukraine's Southern Operational Command, according to Newsweek. Speaking on national television, Humeniuk said that Moscow is pushing their troops to the front lines without the use of armored vehicles. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu claimed last week that the village was completely under control by Moscow. Ukrainian officials, however, dismissed the claim as a manipulation and falsification of facts, and Humeniuk said that Russia made an unsuccessful attempt to storm Krynki on February the 28th. The spokesperson added that Kyiv's soldiers are ready to fight for the positions and currently work on an extension of a bridgehead. The war in Ukraine has resulted in heavy losses for both sides, although Russia has reportedly taken a bigger hit to its number of personnel and equipment. Kyiv and Western intelligence estimate that Russian President Vladimir Putin's troops have suffered from 300,000 to 400,000 casualties since the war broke out in February 2022. Moscow's months-long offensive for the town of Avdiivka, which fell to Russia earlier this month, reportedly costed Putin 17,000 soldiers alone. There has been some reports of Russian troops refusing to follow orders in light of Moscow's reportedly staggering losses. One soldier said in a video shared to social media in June that he was refusing to fight in the meat grinder that was occurring along the front lines. Former CIA director and retired U.S. Army General David Petraeus told Newsweek that he doesn't understand how Putin can deal with this, his number of human casualties. I don't know how Putin can abide this except that he is just such a cold-blooded, brutal autocrat who has obviously no concern whatsoever for the well-being of his people and certainly for the soldiers on the front lines, Petraeus said. Putin to interfere in presidential elections in U.S. Russian President Vladimir Putin will interfere in the 2024 U.S. presidential election, states Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, Oleksiy Danilov. According to him, artificial intelligence has allowed Russia to significantly intensify its disinformation campaigns, which is a huge step forward for Moscow. The Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council is convinced that the scale of information interference will be much larger than before. Russia now has special units dedicated to every country where elections are taking place. The network of informants and agents of Moscow around the world is so large that removing Russian interference is impossible. The FSB continues to contract with European criminal groups, Danilov noted. The Times states that Russian agents spread 166 million pieces of disinformation about Ukraine weekly on various platforms. The presidential election in the U.S. is scheduled for November the 5th, 2024. According to forecasts, the main candidate for the Democrats will be the incumbent American leader, Joe Biden. The Republicans will nominate either Donald Trump or former U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan recently stated that the White House is concerned about possible Russian interference in the 2024 presidential election. NBC News reported that Russia is already spreading disinformation ahead of this year's U.S. elections. Fake accounts and bots are being used to harm President Joe Biden and his Democratic colleagues. Russians sent 70-year-old T-55 tanks to attack Robotine. It ended badly. After a brutal four-month defense against a Russian force ten times its size, the Ukrainian army's 110th mechanized brigade last Friday finally quit the ruins of Avdiivka in eastern Ukraine, just northwest of Russian-occupied Donetsk, according to Forbes. The 110th Brigade fought until it ran out of ammunition. It is noted that sensing weakness as the 110th Brigade retreated, the Russian army attacked in several sectors along the 600-mile front of Russia's two-year wider war on Ukraine. But not every Ukrainian brigade is as tired, outnumbered and ammo-starved as the 110th is. 
Ukrainian forces not only held the line last weekend, they inflicted heavy casualties on the overconfident Russian brigades and regiments, including at least one unit that tried to assault Ukrainian positions in the south in unupgraded 70-year-old T-55 tanks. That unit, apparently from the 42nd Motor Rifle Division, got wrecked as it crossed from west to east, a mile of flat terrain separating Russian lines from positions held by the Ukrainian Army's 65th Mechanized Brigade in Robotine, one of the larger settlements the Ukrainians liberated last summer. The 65th Brigade threw everything it had at the Russian assault group, which numbered dozens of 41-ton, four-person T-55s, 13-ton MT-LB armoured tractors with room for 13 people, and 13-ton BMP fighting vehicles with space for 11. Firing cluster shells and anti-tank missiles and flinging explosive first-person view drones, the 65th Brigade defeated the attack and exacted some revenge for the men and women of the 110th Brigade who died defending Avdiivka, according to Forbes. As the dust settled, open source analyst Andrew Perpetua counted all along the front line 28 damaged, destroyed, and abandoned Russian tanks and fighting vehicles. He counted just six damaged, destroyed, and abandoned Ukrainian tanks and fighting vehicles.